that was Michael's idea to, to cut the slot through and um, honestly it was a little nerve-wracking for me. I think the main thing for me is once you do this, it's definitely not a house anymore. It's an office. We are in the, the new Kenny Morrow uh, architecture offices in a pretty old house that uh, used to be across the street. House was built in 1880s and it was actually on another lot in the neighborhood. So we moved it over here and um, cleaned it up and uh, here we are. The house had only had two owners and so it was fairly pristine. Not, not a lot had been uh, done to it. So we did very little actually uh, to the house. It's pretty much as it was except for uh, we cut this big slot through in order to sort of create continuity between the spaces but still recognize you know what the house was. Not only does it make a strong statement as far as connecting the whole house but literally when people are working here you can you know talk to each other and you can collaborate more closely so it's a great idea. Michael's very good at what he does, and sometimes I just have to have faith and um, let him make strong statements. We did take all the windows out, we took the trim off, we stripped all the, the old paint that was on it, we took all the exterior siding off, we insulated from the outside, put it back, painted it again so you have the texture of the wood, but it's not so distracting to just paint it white. So it's all the original texture and the original wood, but it's, it's up to today's standards as far as energy. The older wood is much stronger. It's one of those things that if we were building a house new, we couldn't afford to have wood paneling on every single surface as like you see here. So part of it is that the older materials are better, but part of it is that that's what's available because it's in the house. So there's four places for desks and they were kind of treated the same way that we treated the floors and all the rest of the shelving, so everything stained black. You know, the biggest problems in houses and in offices is storage and having enough room. Architecture has a lot of paper, so, uh, and printers and a lot of books and binders and basically archiving things is really important. So we, we kind of created a hierarchy of things that were open for our library, for instance, versus the things that we can kind of hide away and access easily but that aren't totally necessary for us to see every day. We had a single photograph that had been taken, I think, in the 70s. The great thing about that is the original porch was missing on the house before it was moved. So by this one photograph, we were able to rebuild it as best we could. I think the porch, uh, it's a t typical feature around here, and it's, you know, it al also sort of becomes another outdoor room. It's just a key feature to the house and you know, adds a fair amount of square footage to what's a, a really small house on the interior. We're just getting to the point where we needed more space and we also really feel strongly about this neighborhood so we wanted to make an investment. So we thought a good investment that would also be someplace where we could work would be to find an old house and do something like this. I've worked in a huge range of different environments, like in towers or in corporate environments. I've worked in principals' homes, in their actual living rooms. It's kind of nice because it's kind of in between, where I feel like I'm in a home, but it's been curated specifically for the work that we do. So I really like working here, and it's, it is really productive. <laughs>